Jayaraj. Hi, Naomi. I've got some questions for you, actually. Who oh, is? You can ask the questions. Yes. So I just want to know everything about the clinical research conducted on stroke. Oh, everything about clinical research will be a very difficult task, but I'll give you a general uh, view of uh, clinical research. Yes, thank you. So, clinical research involves three steps. The first step is we test a new drug in the laboratories in animals and then in actual people. People like us? Yes, people who are healthy, who don't have a disease. And we test a drug if it is not harmful, then we move on to the third stage. But then we need to try it on people who actually have the disease, right? Yeah, you're absolutely correct. And in the third stage, we test the drug in people who have the disease. For example, people with stroke. Is that how we get new drugs? Yes, this is the step that everyone follows to develop a new drug. Not only drug, but also a patient after a stroke may not be able to walk. So we develop new techniques so that we make them comfortable and return back to their home and work. So clinical research is critical to help people who have had a stroke? Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's very, very critical to have clinical research. And there is uh, another type of research, what we call uh, epidemiology, where we try to find out in a community how many people have a disease. That is also very important for us to know. Uh, for example, one in four people in the world will have a stroke. So understanding that is very helpful in clinical research to develop new drugs and treatments for stroke patients. That's reassuring. Thank you, J.R. Raj. Uh, thank you, Noemi. Bye. Bye.